an album called, uh, called 1916. Yo! Yeah, great fucking album. And uh, my band, The Almighty, had the honour of opening up for them on the, on the UK tour. And we were just, you know, we were like 23 years old at the time and our minds were blown, we were getting a tour motorhead ahead, who we idolised. But about two weeks prior to the tour starting, we were in Los Angeles doing a showcase gig and we found out that Motorhead were staying at the same hotel. And we were just hoping that we'd bump into him, we were too scared to try and track him down, you know. But I needn't have worried because about six o'clock at night, I'm sitting in my hotel room having a beer. And the phone goes, Ricky, really? it's Liam. I went, Lem, who's Lem? Lem, you fucking idiot. <laughs> So I'm trying, oh, hi Liam, how's it going, man? You know, fucking <laughs> Trying to hold it together. He goes, 623, my room, no. So let me fucking calls, you go. So I sprint to the elevator, go up to the sixth floor, start shitting myself. I'm going to meet Lemmy, you know, for the first time. Do I look okay? Do I look rock and roll enough? You know, what's, is my pattern going to be all right? Well, I'm just getting, starting to get really nervous, you know. I knock on the door, I'm like, I'm fucking 12 years old again, you know. <laughs> Then he comes to the door and all his regalia looking brilliant. With a wall of smoke behind him, you know? <laughs> he couldn't have scripted it, he just walks out with a fucking cowboy hat on and his shirt. There's just smoke wafting out of the room and stuff. <laughs> I am Lemmy, fuck you. He says, come in. <laughs> so I walk in. He says, sit down. I sit down in the bed, I notice the next bed, Phil Campbell's lying there sprawled out, there's a couple of strippers in the room, there's all kinds of cool dudes hanging out, there's just mayhem going in this room, it was fucking everything I hoped and dreamed it would be. <laughs> and then he proceeds to rack me out a line of speed, which probably was about that length, I'm not fucking exaggerating. Hands me a pint glass, fills it without much Jack Daniels, about that much Coca-Cola. And there's the thing that gets me, it just, I don't know why I remember this, he put two fucking ice cubes in it. <laughs> Tiny wee ice cubes. And I was going to ask him, I was going to say, hey, let me, can I get a bit more ice? And I thought, you just don't do that, you don't ask Lemmy for more fucking ice. Then. And he puts his headphones on me. He goes, snort that, drink that, and listen to this. <laughs> And it's a new Motorhead album and it's blasting in my head and I'm starting to buzz off the drugs and the drink and it's fucking brilliant. I just keep looking over at Lemmy and he's holding court. Phil Campbell's there and I'm just like, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. And it goes on, he tops up with my Jack Daniels, my pint glass and I keep knocking it back because I want to fit in, you know. But by about the fifth song into the album I realise I'm fucking hammered. <laughs> I'm seriously, seriously out of it. I'm like, fucking Ricky boy, you got to hold it together, you know. Motorhead, don't let, don't let the side down, you know. I'm being a band called The Almighty and be a fucking wuss, you know. So the album finishes and of course it's brilliant. And of course I'm hammered. So I stand up to tell Lemmy how wonderful the album is. As I stand up, my legs go. I fall flat on my face into the pint glass, which shatters. It cuts open my eye. My eye starts bleeding down the side of my cheek. Snot comes out of my nose at the same time and I throw up into my mouth. All at once. So I'm lying there pretty much in my own body fluids, and this broken pint glass just going on and on. And I can hear this breathing over my left ear. And I look out the corner of my eye, and Levy's leaning over me, he goes, Warwick, you're a fucking lightweight, he'll never make it. <laughs> this is the greatest rock and roll song that's ever been written in my own opinion. This is for Levy Kilmer, so get better soon, then.
the devil